We've worked hard on this form and finalized where the responses will go. It's time to make the application public. There are many ways to get a Google form to the right person. We'll start by clicking the Send button on the top right-hand side of the screen. We can email it to anybody. If you have a class listserv, you could send out a quiz using that listserv email address. You could also send it out manually from here to anybody who requests a copy of our adoption application. If the user has a Gmail or Google Apps email address, you can embed the form right in the email itself. This option is going to be grayed out if the email address isn't one of those, Gmail or Google Apps. You can also click Add Collaborators if you want other people to help you design the form. Finally, at the top of the screen, you can choose to collect email addresses. I don't need to in this case. It's not necessary for my application. After the Send via Email option, I can click the Link option. This is a different way to send the form. It's going to give you a link directly to the survey. It's useful for sending it out via any email app instead of emailing it directly from the Google form itself. I can also click Shorten URL, and it's going to make it a little bit easier to copy. I can also link to it directly from a website with this link. Let's go to the Wisdom Pet Medicine website. We have our links on the top right-hand side of the screen. All I would need to do is add a new link here called Adoption Application, and it could link directly to the form. This is the link that I would use. The last tab is to embed it directly onto a website. This isn't going to take me to a separate Google Form site. It's going to allow people to fill out the form right from my site itself. I could also put that on my Wisdom Pet Medicine site if I created a special page for the application and embedded it using this code. Finally, to the far right, I can share the form via Facebook or Twitter. Keep in mind that anybody who follows you on any of those apps will be able to fill out the form. Sending out a link to the form will allow you to keep it a bit more under control if that's what you're looking for. Although, remember that anybody will be able to forward that email around. These bottom choices change depending on where I am. On the bottom right-hand side, I can choose to send the email, or if I'm on the Embed or Send Link section, I can copy the link itself. At any time, I can click Cancel. That's how to send the form. Up next, we'll fill it out ourselves and view the rest of the responses.